Hello techies. In this session, we are going to learn top 15 RPA interview questions and answers along with explanation. These interview questions will be asked for both beginners and experienced RPA candidates. Without wasting time, let's get started. First question, what is RPA? RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. RPA is a type of software or a business process automation technology which is used to do automation of all fundamental tasks in software applications. In simple words, robotic process automation allows organization to automate tasks just like human being was doing them across application and systems. The main goal of robotic process automation is process to replace repetitive and boring critical tasks performed by humans. Next question, what is the main goal of RPA process? The primary goal of RPA is to replace or reduce the repetitive and rule-based tedious tasks which are performed by humans. Therefore, a human can focus on the tasks that require human intelligence. Next question, Describe the life cycle of RPA. There are four phases in the RPA life cycle. One is analysis, development, third one testing, and fourth one deployment and maintenance. Let me explain one by one about them. Analysis. Business team identifies the business process for which RPA development is needed and RPA architecture works together to analyze the business process for RPA development. Next one, development of bots. Developer team starts working on developing the automated workflows to fulfill the requirements such as SDLC to analyze the quality and correct defects. Third one, testing phase. Development team performs quality check for the bots. Fourth one, deployment and maintenance. After the development and testing phases, a bot enters the maintenance phases in which it provides continuous support and helps in the immediate defect resolution. These are all the four phases of RPA lifecycle. Next one, what are the sequence of steps involved in RPA? Below are the steps that are involved in RPA. One is preparation of project, second identification of use case and automation potential, third one development of business cases, fourth one preparation of RPA and fifth one implementation of RPA. These are all the sequence of steps which are involving in RPA. Next one, what are the different RPA tools available in market? Nowadays, there are many RPA tools available in the market, each tool providing various functionalities according to customer need. These are the few RPA tools. One is Blue Prism, UiPath, Automation Anywhere, Cofax, Pega, Nice, WorkFusion, OpenSpan. But the top three tools in today's markets are Blue Prism, UiPath, and Automation Anywhere. Next question, what are the advantages of robotic process automation? There are few benefits of RPA which are listed below. One is improved efficiency of tasks, performing the tasks quickly without errors, increased productivity, cost saving, decreased turnaround time, no coding required. Let me elaborate it. Since RPA can automate almost all manual and repetitive tasks, you can reduce the size of your workforce and hence reduce the cost. Human will do mistakes, but computers or machines don't commit any mistakes. They do exactly as they are told and hence are more accurate. RPA can be implemented to automate any repetitive process which is done on a computer. This process can be related to any desktop tool or web application. If the process is repetitive, it can be automated the two with minimum coding required. 
Next question, explain the important characteristics of RPA. There are three important characteristics that we have for the RPA. One is code free, business user friendly, non disruptive Let me elaborate one by one of these characteristics. First one, code free. RPA doesn't require any coding or programming skills extensively. Business operations with process and subject matter expertise, SMEs, with some programming experience can be trained to automate RPA tools quickly. Tools like Blue Prism, UiPath, Automation Anywhere provide GUI that can be used to drag and drop commands that can represent rules in a process that needs to be automated. Most of the RPA platforms provide a flowchart which are very similar to Microsoft Visio where business process definitions are created graphically by dragging, dropping, and using icons that represent step-by-step -step in a process. Next characteristics, business user-friendly. As I told, RPA tools are very user-friendly for both bot creator and the end user. Most of the tools provides drag and drop interfaces to write code. As I said again, there's no coding knowledge required. RPA adoption originates within a business operations, rather inside IT departments. RPA projects require less IT skills and less investment. The last characteristic, non-disruptive. RPA avoids complexity and risk. The software robots access end-user systems via a controlled user interface, hence reducing the necessity of underlying system programming. These tools automate interactions with the GUI and often do so by repeating a set of demonstration actions performed by the user. Next question, what are the limitations of RPA? There are the few limitations of RPA. Limitations to tasks like decision making or judgmental tasks. Not a cognitive computing solution, rather learns through experience. Might be error prone when subjected to a new environment without experience. Higher cost of implementation across the industry. These are the limitations of RPA. Next question, what are the different types of logs available in RPA? Logs can be provide detailed information that can be used to improve the process efficiency. There are two types of, two different types of logs are available in RPA. One is default logs and user-friendly logs. Again, under default logs, we're having execution start, execution end, transaction start, transaction end, error log, debugging log. Let me elaborate one by one log about these two things. First one, execution start. This will be logged each and every time a process starts. Execution end, it will be logged each and every time when a process is ends. Now, third one, transaction start. This will be logged every time a transaction within a process starts. You, we can see these logs when using queues. In the same way, transaction end, each and every time it will be logged when a transaction within a process ends. This is also will be seen whenever you are having using queues. Next one, error log. Every time an execution is stopped by an error, you will find error log. Next one, debugging log. If the robot logging settings is set to verbose, then only it will be debugging log will be executed. Con this will be containing, you know, activity names, types, variable values, arguments, etc. The final one, user defined logs. This will be added by using add log fields activity or the log message activity. This is all about the different types of logs available in the RPA. Next question, is robotic automation like screen scrapping or macros? No, clinical robotic automation is a generation from old technologies like screen scrapping or macros. The major differences are robots are universal application orchestrator. Uh, 
Robots collect procedural knowledge which over time build into a shared library that can be reused by another robot or device. Applications are read by the robot either through the dedicated API where they exist. These are the main difference for the robotic automation and the you know screen scrapping or macros. Next question, what are the pros and cons of RPA? So there are pros and cons also for the RPA. First of all, we'll see what are the pros of the RPA. Reduce errors, greater productivity, enhance job satisfaction, lower turnover. These are the pros of the RPA. If you see on my right hand side, there are the cons also. That is increase in complexity due to the implementation, redundancy, a huge threat of unemployment. These are all the cons of the RPA. Now we'll see the next question. What are the differences between robotic process automation and the traditional automation? If you see, there are the criteria that we have. One is technology, use, implementation, and cost. And we are having different types of automations over there, like robotic process automation and traditional automation. So coming to the technology, RPA, it's a, it is a non-instructive, scalable, and versatile. While you are going for the usage of the robotic process automation, it is used to mimic repetitive and rule-based human accents. It offers quick implementation. It takes less time, less amount of time as compared to the traditional automation. It seems costly in starting, but it, it is a cost-saving technology in the long run. Whereas coming to the traditional automation, it is instructive, less scalable and less versatile. It is used to execute predefined programmatic instructions. It takes several months for the implementation. It seems cheaper in the starting, but costs more in the long run. These are all the you know, differences between robotic process automation as well as the tradition, traditional automation. Next question, what do you understand by a thin client and a thick client in RPA. Thin client can be referred to as an application that never acquired the quality properties while spying using any RPA tool. It does not run on a local machine. It runs only on the virtual client or server architecture. Example, VMware, VirtualBox, or any other virtual environment. Now we will see thick client. The client can be defined as the applications which provide handful attribute features using RPA tools. The best examples are apps like Notepad, browser, etc. Next question, what are the differences, different types of bots available in the robotic process automation? A term bot or robot refers to set of commands that are used to automate the task. There are usually four types of software bots available in the robotic process automation. One is Taskbot, Metabot, IQbot, Chartbot. Next question, what are the main components of robotic process architecture? The core components of the robotic process automation are recorder, development studio, plugin or extension, bot runner, and controller center. These are all the 15 RPA most important questions which have been asked across the IT industry. I hope you got the top interview questions which are asked by the IT experts. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to these queries, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.